the freedom wave continues on its path to Gaza. Despite Israeli warnings that it will be intercepted, passengers on the two boats led by groups from Canada and Ireland remain positive about their mission. Getting international attention to what Israel is doing is achieved before we get to Gaza. Telling the Canadian government that we are going to act if you continue your way happens even if we don't get to Gaza. The support of the Palestinian people in Gaza, they know what we are doing, they are following what we are doing. It helps them quite a lot morally when they know that people in the world are helping them this way. And that's also achieved. If we get to Gaza, it will be better. But it doesn't mean that if we don't get there, all our objectives are out. To a certain extent, we've achieved a lot as well just by trying. As with previous attempts at breaking the siege, one common theme is the diverse nature of its participants. Despite the fact that the boats were forced to reduce their numbers by the Turkish port authorities, the two vessels are carrying passengers from Canada, Ireland, the US, Australia and of course Palestine. This remains, as its predecessors have been, an international effort. Michael is from Sydney, Australia. He's making the journey at significant personal expense for the second time, after the attempt at launching a flotilla earlier this year was crushed by Greek authorities. He says he's driven by his experiences in Palestine. You realise that what you're witnessing is the ethnic cleansing of Palestinians from Palestine. And while it's not as brutal as it is in Gaza and the West Bank, it's still what they call transfer by stealth, a slow process of just making life so difficult that the Palestinians leave their homeland. Um, and I resolved myself to um, working towards um, supporting, you know, standing in solidarity with the Palestinian people. Kit from the US believes Americans have a responsibility to challenge their government's role in the Middle East. We have the backing of most of the world who is saying we have to end the siege and the occupation of Palestine and so as a citizen of the world I feel like I need to step forward and do it and you know every effort counts. We have to uh, move where our governments won't as a civil society and say it's time to end the siege since our government is not. Israel has condemned the initiative as a provocation and a threat to its security. It says the waves of boats are a futile and worthless gesture and any aid should go through its ports. We are not looking for, for, for aspirin or you know, band-aid solutions. We are really saying this blockade should end in this particular case and we know it hasn't ended but we know also that if we don't do what we are doing the Israel would just keep going in its, its merry way and the world would just keep silent. Even if we're not changing the full final result right away, we are changing the facts on the ground by being there. For now, the propellers keep turning, the passengers on board waiting. They have faith that one day they will reach Gaza through Palestinian waters. But today, Israel's warships loom over the horizon. Hassan Ghani, Press TV, on board the Tahrir in the Mediterranean Sea.